Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Graveyard Keeper, shall we? Alright, so let me get some more great pies going, and just let this amazing operation commence. So, something I'm very, very serious about, besides obviously glass and flasks, um would be the business of getting one of these events off the ground. Um, let me see how I'm doing at the old graveyard. And I roll in and yes, 1116 quality. And look at this. I mean, we just have a beautiful empty plot here. I have to be able to do more with this. This can't be right. Let me look. There's some empty space. Can I build like a you know, a lawn or something right there. Mm, I need stone. I need stone and uh, peat. But I feel like maybe I should be able to build something along this strip. Maybe not. Maybe it won't fit. Uh, but that... I'm going to see. Because that would be helpful. Do-do-do. Alright. So, let me get this going, and then... Let me see, do I have any stone just lying around? Well, I certainly do. Um, I'll take 30. And then we can just bring this stone over here. Let me get the peat, if I have any of that lying... anywhere. Um, you know, I am a little embarrassed. Like, there's just no earthly reason why... Oof, I don't have any peat. Oh my, sweet Moses. Alright, let's take the crop waste then. I'll probably put it in the in the basement. But we can get this going. And I'll come back. Alright, terrific. Now I'm going to um, teleport into the talking skull. And from here, I'm going to I'll take out all that money. Um, but I'm going to go down here, and I think I made a whole bunch of pasta, um, somewhere. There should have been some. How are we doing? Um, we're gonna put all this pasta in... No, 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 wait. I don't want to do that. I can't remember if this chest gets used or not... Pulled from or not. Um, I hope not. I don't think so. Um, how much beer do I have on me? I have a good amount. All right, so I think we're square then. Let's see, can I cook anything here that would be helpful? I think all I really need is um, pasta and um, how oh, bread is always good. Yeah, onion rings. I would need um, oil to make them. But I, I have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have him show me the inventory. Okay. So, I've, oh, no, he got all the pasta that I made downstairs. Great. All right. So let's give him some other stuff. And he's not selling this. So I know that everything I give him, he will hold on to. So let me give him beer like this. Okay. And then burgers. And then wine. Now, I'm probably doing this wrong. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, and then uh, let me give him some onion rings and just see how this goes. This is just going to be a trial run. I'll give him ten golds. Alright, and that looks like a good amount of food, okay? And then, so, what I'd like to do is just, um, I have some flyers, and so we can do, like, you know, a graveyard festival. We can just start small, right? And see how this goes. So, everyone's just jamming out, okay? And they're enjoying the party. 
and great. So I just got two achievements, which is best party and first party. Okay. Um, and uh, they didn't like the burgers, but they loved the beer. So it was good enough to give us a good party. Now, let me see what his inventory is. Yeah, so they almost ate all of it. They didn't drink any wine, they just had beer. Um, so what I'm gonna do then is, uh, and this is what was recommended online when I looked, I'm just going to um, actually, cancel, and then we're going to um, load the game. All right, so I'm just going to uh, bring back my game here, right? And then we're going to do this again for a different event. And the reason you do this, it, it might be kind of cheese, but we're just trying to get the achievements, right? And the reason we're doing it this way is so that... Um, we don't have to lose the stars and all of the food that we've made. So we can just like round up these achievements and we should be set. Theoretically. Maybe. All right. And oh my God. That was not what I meant to do. All right. So let's go ahead and just talk to him and fill him up. So you can have all this pasta. I don't think he really needs that much pasta, but he's going to get it. And then you can have, like, just an unconscionable amount of wine. And then... Beer. Burgers. Beer. Oh, now we're full. Um, maybe I should take some pasta back. Uh-huh. And then... Let me give you some onion rings. Well, let me give you like some pasta. 40 pasta is good. And then onion rings. Where's the onion rings? All right, here we go. All right, so now um, I'm going to build, uh, and we can do a comedy stand-up and see how this goes. You know, running is great for the spirit. You run to a pub, pub, run back with a beer, and you feel so good. Hey yo! I've been having problems with alcohol for a long time. What problems? Not enough alcohol. Whoa, this is... They say that smoking leads to a slow and torturous death. So the rest of us will die quickly and cheerfully? Hey! Boy, this is the worst comedy I've ever heard. Um, but we got best mic achievement unlocked. Um, okay, so very good. So then we're going to go to exit. And then we're going to just boot this back up and do this again for the next, for the rat race and Miss Charm. And see if this is enough to get us all of the achievements for um, the events, basically. Show me your inventory. All right, so we don't even need to give the guy pasta. And then we'll just go like, here's a hundred of my best wine. And then um, here's a bunch of beer and burgers. And then where's my good onion rings? You can have these. And then let me just make sure you have enough beer because that would be embarrassing if it was a beer problem that, that kicked us out of it. All right, that should do it. And then we'll just go ahead and um, we'll do Miss Charm. Oh, there she is. She's using the balcony. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at these people down here like with their arms around their shoulders. Oh, she's working the steps. This is quite the performance. This is like you're going to see Cher or something. I feel it in the air and water. Look at this spotlight. I sense it from a below and above. It makes me much stronger, much gentler, much hotter. Whoa, boy. Love. Yeah. The quiet applause. Sweet. 
Um, and we got Best Concert and Locking Up the Sun. So we got those two achievements done. Man, I mean, the amount of happy faces we got there for like the red wine and the pasta, they loved that. Okay, and then let me quickly exit. And then we'll just play and load it. And this is just, we're going to have a good rat race, I think. And then we should be square. Theoretically. All right, character teleport all the way to the talking skull. All right, and then let's talk to the guy and show the inventory. And then let's do this. Let's be like, here's, you know, 100. They probably don't need red wine at the rat race, um, but I'm just going to put it all in there. I've had, I have a formula where beer and um, burgers and beer, and onion rings, and pasta, and wine seem to be doing the trick. Let's have a rat race. Here we go. Hey, it was a good time. Everyone loved it. Um, and we got best race also as an achievement. Okay, and then let's just go back to... Well, no, we don't need to keep anything. That's fine. Um, we got some money, and now we can just uh, warp home. So I think um, I'll check Steam afterward, but I think that's all of the achievements um, that we can get for the events, hopefully. If not, we'll just work up to the rest of them, but that was a lot. So we just did a good bunch. Um, I did some stuff, like making the peat that I have to re repeat, get it, repeat, making the peat. Hey, yo. But everything else is fine. Um, I'm really happy to, I think, you know, be effectively done with doing that. I can always do that for more money, but um, I don't need money. And that's going to be, I think, I'm thinking of making a separate episode um, that just lays out some potential things in the game that I would like. Uh, them to add in the future because we pretty much know that they're going to do another DLC. Like, that's just 100% confirmed. Um, well, no, it's not. It's implied by the narrative of the game, by, end, you know, the ending that we saw, but they might not actually do it. It just feels like that they're going to. Right, I'm going to check to see if there's any peat down here for, like, fertilizer or something funky. Uh, well, I have some more crop waste, but I don't need that at the moment. Oh, here's the peat. Sweet. Alright, so with this, um, I don't know if I have any rock, like stone up here. Man, I just have too many inks, but those are all for the flyers. I, And that's another th reason why it's uh, so helpful to just reload your game when you're doing those events is that you don't have to make the flyers each time either. So, you know, um, we'll put this guy back on track now. We don't need beer or wine, theoretically. So he can get back to doing his job. We'll go right here and we'll take out some stone. Um, 30 is good. And then I'm going to head over here to the graveyard. And I am going to check on this garden plot. See if I can throw this in here. It would be cool. Let's see. All right, let me just kick in. Um, well, let's, we can build it from here. Um, can we build anything? Like, you know, a nice-sized lawn to go over here? Or is it only a strip of one? Um, oh, nope. Okay, you can't. It's, it's so close, but it's a strip of one, which you can do nothing with. Okay, well, then that's fine. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel like at least it's um, optimized. You know what I mean? So... There is no place. There's a strip of one here, but that's not enough to do anything. So there is no place for me to build anything now except for upgrading these graves. So, terrific. All right, let me just rip this off. And this. And exhume the body. Honestly, we're getting to the point where it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Um, it looks like I just need 16 of the, of the high quality 
fences and the very particular um, gravestone marker that I want, and we'll be set. Uh, let me just put this here and throw this here for a moment. How are you doing? Oh, you're good. And what about you? Um, you're ready for gold. Terrific. Another wish for um, the quality of life improvements would be that the game only cycles through improvements or items from your inventory that you can possibly use. Uh, and so, like, it, it only affects me because I'm so late in the game, but it's one of those things where, you know, I have just too many items to even go through. And so, all right, this will take one off there. I can go down to two red and um, five white, and then I can go down to um, zero red and six white. It doesn't seem good. Yeah, this is one of those bodies where it's like to get it to 12, um, I'm going to need to find some like a two and two intestine. I don't know if I have that, but we'll check. Mm, I could throw in a dark, but that's just, yeah, like this should, this should help us out significantly if I put this in. And then um, now we're at j just at a point where like, I take this out and just put in a two red skull, I mean a two white skull heart and we are on track for a 13 quality body with the traditional methods. Yep. We get to Galaxy's baseline, and then we do the... Because Zen pointed this out, all I need to do is just start like normal and just start with glue. Um, let me check out this horrifying body that's here. It has not really anything worth it um honestly i don't even need this flesh anymore i don't need to take this out because um i don't need burgers i've done my events i feel so um we're just gonna burn this and move on Woof! this is a seriously man look at this the wind is blowing the rain is coming down this is a really fitting night to be a graveyard keeper. It's a good night for a corpse burning, you know. Does that sentence even make sense? Can you say something like that? I don't know. Probably not. It's graveyard humor. All right. Is, is this a 14? This is something I would like. Just count up the skulls for me. Don't make me do this every time. Um, so let's see. I have to use the mouse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, it's just a thirteen. I, I think I was excited that like six. Yeah, it's still thirteen is great. Let's go. Let's get this beautiful specimen in the ground. I'm curious how I'm going to do some of these later achievements. Like, one of them requires you to, I believe, die ten times. Um, and so, I don't know if you can just go, if it counts if you go into town. If that's like an actual death, or if it's not. Um, there we go. Nope, that's not going to do it. I need a really good fence. Need a six qual fence. We got any six quals? Probably down here at the bottom, right? Yeah. Perfect. Get it up there. Boom. That's very nice. Um, okay. So I need to go make some more graveyard pieces. Mostly I just need to make the headstone because the fences I can buy two per day that are good enough quality. All right, so let's get in here and start making um, these. Oh, okay. Um, oh my God, all right. Uh, okay, 
Can I try this now? Here we go. One. Oh no. It's okay. I know I need 16. There's one. Alright, let's get these babies in there. Uh huh. One. And I don't actually need 16 made myself because I can buy them from her. And by her, I mean the Strangler. Alright, cool. Um, speaking of the Strangler, let's just go pay her a visit and tell her how much we appreciate her fine work. Are you up here? Nope. Everybody's so busy. Oh, here she is. Tending to the empty garden. No, come back. Oh my god, no. No, Strangler. No. No, don't. Don't do this. Where are you going? Please stop. Alright. Um. Oh. Oh, God. Stop. Here. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna start selling her stuff. And then we're gonna just buy stuff from her. Like this, and then this, and then this. And be happy about it. Alright, great. And then we're gonna teleport um, back home. Now, like I said, the 10 death achievement is tough, but the real crusher is the 200 fish. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I have a Stardew Valley game emerging, and I am not... Like, in Stardew Valley, fishing is a blast. It's fun, it's satisfying, it's much easier than it is here, at least for the entry-level fish. In this game, even with the buffs and with the best fishing equipment on the easiest fish, um, it is a chore. So to catch 200, I I've probably caught, let's just say 30 to 40 already, which is not very many. Oh man, this is a bad one. So it's... Uh, it's one of those things where it would be rough. But if it's the last achievement, I've never actually gotten all the achievements for a game on Steam before, so I think it would be kind of cool. I would at least try to like to try to finish it before the next DLC comes out, so I don't get um, to a situation where I <laughs> they put out a bunch of achieve like achievements for that and then I never finish at one point in the in the life cycle of the game I would like to complete them all I guess is my point all right um, oh we're done but I don't know if this is actually gonna work um, let me see oh this body is really close what you got oh yeah we can just give you a regular heart and you're good terrific I love when it's this simple I've got an entire rack of hearts just waiting for a moment like this. I think at some point, too, it's actually probably there. Once I get closer to being done with the bodies at, you know, at this baseline quality that I'm going for, I'm going to start removing some of the corpse racks in this section and then putting more storage in because this is a great place to build storage. All right, let's take out the blood. And we'll take out the fat. This might only get to 12. Um, oh, this is this only 11? Or is this perfectly 12? Three, six, yeah, okay, great. It's 12. It's not 13, but it's 12. And 12 is the standard we set. Pound that into the ground, and um, let's just start making some nice stuff. Perfect. And 
and then honestly I could use a bad fence here but let's not let's do it that way look at that that's really something special okay um, anybody done like how's the embalming going still moving um, you're ready for silver which is good go. There we go. Oh, we got all this peat that I crafted. That's funny. Okay, let's pick it up. We don't necessarily need it anymore, but it was cool. It was a cool idea. Alright, let's just start throwing this dirt in here. Yep. Yeah. Crop waste dirt. It can all go inside here. If we need it for fertilizer later, we know where it is. Terrific. Alright. Um, we have a pretty ridiculous amount of pasta. I might just put a bunch of food at the chest at the pub. Probably a good idea. Good place for that. Um... All right, so I need some more of these things. So let's make them. One. Uh-huh. Two. Great. And then we can just move over here and work on some nice of these. Yep, yep, yep. One. Fantastic. Alright, I like that a lot. Let me see. How's this? What's in here? Fish and stuff? Alright. Yep, this is like the fishing location, except for this crop waste. There's some bad stuff there that doesn't belong, but we can eliminate that later. Most of this is cooking related. Okay, let me check on these bodies down here. See how they're doing. Oh boy, let's try to avoid bumping into that. Terrific. Okay, how are you feeling? You're feeling like it's time for gold? I can do that for you. And then you are feeling like it's time for lie. Well, we can do that as well. Perfect. All right, everybody, I think this is an amazing place to stop the episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And we will return to Graveyard Keeper soon, where we continue the body work. And I think that's all of the event achievements done. We threw the best possible events with a bunch of really fancy wine and beer and pasta. And I feel great about it. I know we have more work to do, but we're really, really getting there. Okay, everybody. Take care.